Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how you can install Hyperland in a base configuration with my Hyperland starter script. Many of you know my Hyperland dot files, an advanced pre-configured Hyperland configuration. But if you want to start from scratch with a Hyperland base installation, then the Hyperland starter is a great starting point for your own Hyperland experiments. You can find the script and the pre-configured packages on my GitLab server. The server also includes here a readme with all required information that you need for your installation, the list of packages that will be installed. It's the Hyperland core package, it's Waybar, it's Rofi, Wofi is an optional package, Kitty is an optional package, Terminal, the default is Alacrity, Dunce, the notification service, the file manager Dolphin, the XTG desktop portal Hyperland for screen sharing and screen recording, Qt5 and Qt6 Wayland, Wallpaper, Hyperpaper will be the wallpaper engine and the icons required for Waybar, TrueType font awesome. You can customize the script to your needs by adding additional packages to these lists. Yeah, these are the default commands. You can also activate the installation of yay packages yeah, with yay-spfetch as an example. If you want to use yay, you only have to uncomment this command install yay. And then the script will check if Yay is already installed on the system. And if not, the script will install Yay for you. This is the installation section where the packages will be installed. You see here sudo pacman-s and the packages. Here is the optional Yay installation command. Then the script will ask to copy the pre-configured dot files into the dot config folder then the script will help you to set the initial keyboard layout default is us but you can also select another keyboard layout during the installation the initial monitor setup follows you have here a selection of the most general screen resolutions and last but not least the script will detect if you're running the installer in a virtual machine if yes then the script will add some environment variables to the hyperland.conf. And that's it. I'm here on the Manjaro desktop. I have installed the Plasma desktop in the minimal version as a foundation for the Hyperland installation. This is a good starting point because Plasma comes with SDDM Display Manager. And with the SDDM Display Manager, you can start Hyperland. This is the only supported display manager available. And um, yeah, and that's why it's a good starting point because SDDM comes with the Plasma desktop. Okay, let's start with the Hyperland installation using the Hyperland starter. I open the console and we can CD into the downloads folder. And here we will clone now the Hyperland starter package with git clone gitlab.com slash stefan hyphen rao slash hyperland hyphen starter dot git. The download is already complete and we can CD into the Hyperland starter. And here you see the installation script and predefined configurations for the initial installation of Hyperland. But let's start the installer. I have to enter the sudo password because the script will now check that all required packages to run the installation are available. And here I can confirm now the start of the installation. You see that the packages Hyperland, Waver, Rofi, Wofi, Kitty, Alacrity, Dance, Dolphin, XTG Desktop Portal, Hyperland, Qt5 Valent, Qt6 Valent, and Hyper Paper plus Chromium and the TrueTime font Awesome will be installed with that script. I confirm the installation with yes. And I confirm the installation of the packages above listed also with yes. The download is nearly done. And the installation has just started. 
Okay, installation is already done. And now I can copy the prepared dot files, the prepared dot configurations into the dot config folder. I confirm this with yes. Now I can set the initial keyboard layout. So I can search here for DE in my case and confirm with return. I can also define the initial screen resolution with the first start of Hyperland. In my case is 9020 to 1080. I confirm this. And the script has also detected that I run the installer in a KVM virtual machine. And when I confirm this now, the script will add environment variables to have a better mouse pointer support in the running virtual machine with Hyperland. That's why I confirm this with yes. And that's it. Installation is done. And it's now recommended to reboot the system. I will do this now. I will shut down the system completely and restart again. Manjaro is booting up again. I'm in SDDM and I can select now Hyperland as a desktop session and I log in. And you see that Hyperland is installed with the right screen resolution with the startup. With super key return, I can open the terminal. I can open another terminal. Let's see if the German keyboard layout is installed. Yes, it's also installed. And I can switch to the second workspace. I can switch to the first workspace. I can open a browser with super key B. Let's check that the Hyperland conf is set up correctly with Super key, com control, return, I open Rofi and I can start Kate, the text editor that is that comes with Manjaro. I can open, this is the home folder with a right click, I can show the hidden files, I go into the config folder, I open Hyper and here's the Hyperland conf. And you see it's the right screen resolution plus the environment variables required for running Hyperland in a virtual machine, plus the correct keyboard layout. So a great starting point for your Hyperland experiments. Let's cd into the config folder, and then you will find the configuration for Dunst. Um, here is Alacrity, here is the Hyper folder, you have also Waybar here and Rofi, and then you can start to customize everything to your needs. That's it. Download the Hyperland starter package from my GitLab and customize it to your needs. And with that, see you next time.